It's time for tech news. It's time for tech news. <laughs> You're used to the names GeForce and Radeon for high performance gaming GPUs, but now we have a confirmed brand for Intel's challenger, Arc. Oh. Or is it ARC? I can't tell. It's electric. It's not Arc with a K, the other Intel repository of CPU specs. We're talking Arc with a C, which is the name Team Blue chose for its chips using the Z, which is not a Z, it's an XE, high power GPU or ZHPG. Are you confused yet? Yep. Well, f you. <laughs> well, there's one more term to learn Alchemist, which is the code name for Intel's first generation Arc GPU, or ARC GPU, which is expected to perform in the same range as the RTX 3070, but probably won't, because nothing can. We can't have nice things my own salt. The branding will be used for both desktop and laptop performance GPUs, which will support modern goodies like DX12 Ultimate, ray tracing, variable rate shading, and AI-driven super sampling, Super Smash Bros, which sounds similar to NVIDIA's DLSS. Oh, the same thing. <laughs> Deep learning Super Smash Bros. <laughs> While we're hoping to see Intel's GPU this year, Team Blue is now telling us to expect them in Q1 2022. Because of course they are. You thought Earth was done being a hell world for, for once? No? <laughs> Have you been to the interior of British Columbia? Whoa. It's f***ing Mordor! Yeah. Don't come here. Earlier this year, NVIDIA launched revised versions of their RTX 30 series GPUs with their Ethereum mining performance reduced by 50%, thanks to an even more unhackable limiter. Well, with Ethereum surging lately, one group of developers behind the N NB Miner program decided to make NVIDIA eat their words. Again, NB Miner's new version boosts 30 series GPUs to perform at 70% of their max potential. That's a 20% difference, Riley. James. Maths. Now, whether it remains financially viable to mine on these clearly not unhackable cards will be up to the market, but you'd think that NVIDIA and other tech companies would stop calling things unhackable. It's like telling Linus not to drop something. Now the idea is in his head. Oh. You've already lost. Uh, don't, don't hack it. If there's hack gravity, it. it's droppable. The boatloads of bad takes on Twitter may make your head hurt sometimes, but some people are actually getting real headaches thanks to the Bird app's latest redesign. The new high contrast scheme Twitter is using for visual elements like follow buttons pops so much that denizens of the site are reporting eye strain and result in headaches. Really annoying considering the high contrast scheme also appears in dark mode, which is specifically designed to be easier on the eyes. I like living in darkness. Twitter has released a statement saying that they're tweaking the new color scheme. Hopefully the changes roll out to everyone soon or discourse may devolve to the point that the only response anyone can muster is simply tweeting ratio until they pass out. That's how, they go, that's how I go to sleep every night. Ugh, I mean, wait. unacceptable for a public utility like Twitter. Now it's time for the quick bits brought to you by Drop and Marvel, uh -huh. who have partnered together to bring your favorite superheroes to your PC setup with limited edition keycaps. <laughs> they don't sound like that. Uh, the collection features heroes such as Captain America, Iron Man, and Black Panther as well as a set based on the movie Avengers Infinity War, clearly the best one in the series. Each set features heroic elements such as Captain America's star logo or Black Panther's mask, so bring out your inner hero and pre-order your set at the link below. That's my origin story, keycaps made me super. Quick bits, you gotta do better than that. That's all I got. <laughs> you need more than that. The US Highway Safety Administration is not sexy, but they are investigating something sexy, Tesla cars crashing into parked emergency vehicles, ouch, with 11 such incidents occurring since 2018. One death resulted and the investigators have already concluded Tesla's autopilot or traffic aware cruise control was enabled in all cases. It seems likely that Tesla will be required to overhaul the way autopilot reminds the driver to pay attention because it seems like right now it might be more of a suggestion. Tesla hasn't yet commented, but its stock is down as a result, making it a good time for a low hanging Dogecoin joke. New rumors are indicating Google may announce the Pixel 5a as soon as tomorrow. So far, it looks like the phone will essentially be a Pixel 4a 5G with a significantly larger 4,680 milliamp hour battery. So it could be a compelling choice if you think having to charge your phone is a great injustice. This is not right. And get this, this phone might even have a headphone jack. What? Whoa, what an exciting new feature in this hell world. Yeah, it's still, that's the point. You kinda... Android 12 has a boatload of new features, but there's an interesting one that's been spotted in the latest beta called camera switches. 
The idea is to be able to use facial expressions to issue commands to your phone, such as smiling to open notifications or opening your mouth to scroll. Oh my God. Can you imagine you're reading something, you go, oh, and it reads faster. Oh. <laughs> It should make life easier for folks with accessibility issues or people who just want an excuse to make faces at their phones even more than they already do. That do the duck face and it takes a picture and applies filters. We've already got Siri, A-L-E-X-A, and Google Assistant, but apparently they're not enough. As it looks like Sony may be throwing its hat into the digital assistant ring with something no one will use. The company is sending out surveys to gauge customer response to a Sonos-based smart voice control system, which I'm sure millions of customers are just itching to buy. Can I please have another ecosystem? But the move actually does make some sense as Google and Sony are currently facing off in a patent lawsuit, meaning Sony might be keen to build its own voice assistant that isn't reliant on Google. The, the lawsuit will kill one of them. And the next big retailer to start accepting crypto just might be the world's largest, Walmart. The company is looking to hire a crypto product lead according to its career site. Hopefully this means they'll take mainstream crypto, but maybe we'll also get a great value coin that undercuts the rest of the crypto market, but with everyday low prices. It's distributed because everyone can afford it. <laughs> everyday high market cap. Time to undercut this episode by ending it. Come back on Wednesday for more tech news and we'll give you five free news coins. We're just, uh, we're just starting, but the potential is there, guys. It's gonna be huge. We may have pre-mined millions for ourselves. Oh. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be rich in the tech news!